Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Shelly's Millions. In today's video, I want to talk about extended benefits. I did already make a video about this, but there has been an update. Now, when I say extended benefits, that is a broad term that almost all of the states use to call an additional 13 to 20 weeks of extended benefits. But here in California, we refer to that program as FED-ED. Way to go, California, for calling it something different, which is going to make it confusing. Anyway, FED-ED and ED are the same thing. So for those of you who are not in California, you can go ahead and watch this video. 49 states, plus the Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and the District of Columbia have all um, triggered on these extra 13 to 20 weeks of benefits, depending on your state. Um, this is in addition to the 13 week PEUC program. If you've been receiving unemployment benefits for a while and you are nearing having a $0 balance in your claim, or you are in danger of exhausting your benefits, make sure to stick around and watch this video to the end. Today is Thursday, July 2nd, and this coming Monday is my birthday, July 6th, and what I really want for my birthday is you guys to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with anyone that you think might find it useful. It really helps the YouTube algorithm push the video out to more people, which helps the channel, and I appreciate it. Please keep in mind that I'm not a professional. I'm just someone going through the unemployment process myself for the first time. But of course I try and research these topics and any articles that I reference will be linked in the description down below. How you get Fed ED, the progression kind of goes like this. You are either on a regular unemployment claim or you are on a PUA claim for those of us who are self-employed. Those claims last up to 26 weeks. After you exhaust those 26 weeks, you are then rolled over to the PEUC 13 week extension that was just implemented as part of this pandemic as part of the CARES Act. If you are still unemployed and you have exhausted all 13 weeks of the PEUC extension, at that point, if you're one of, in one of those 49 states, or if you are in the District of Columbia, the Virgin Islands, or Puerto Rico, um, then the, the f I started to call it FED-ED, and that's what it's called here in California, but the extended benefits will kick in. Um, and I guess states have to request, first it has to be triggered on, and it triggers on when a specific a specific state when their unemployment rate exceeds 5%. If it exceeds 5%, they also have to meet like 120 times or something their prior year's unemployment rate, unless the state exceeds a 6% unemployment rate, which most of the states have right now. If the states have a 6% or higher unemployment rate, then it can trigger on without the additional requirement of it needing to like also exceed the multiplier from the previous year. So we're all in the situation where we're above 6%, so we don't have to meet that other requirement. When I talk about the benefits being extended, this or extended benefits, or here in California, the Fed ED program, I am only talking about your base weekly benefit amount. We still don't know anything about the additional $600, whether that's going to be approved, whether it won't. Um, and they are now on their July 4th holiday recess. They will not be returning until July 18th. So we won't know anything regarding that before July 18th. It's possible that they could take as long as up until July 31st when that program expires, that, that bump up on your unemployment benefit amount before they make a decision. I, I don't really think that's going to be the case. I don't think they will take quite that long to decide with the rise in cases of the virus 
And with, I mean, it's an election year, both sides are going to want to look as good in the public eye as they possibly can. So I think they're gonna get this moving a little bit quicker, but we just don't know. So when I talk about extended benefits, it unfortunately does not include any additional amount. So for people here in California, if you're on PUA, your base weekly benefit amount is gonna be $167 unless you are approved for a higher amount. Um, so that is the amount that I'm referencing. Whatever your personal base weekly benefit amount, that is the amount that will be extended. For this part, I'm not sure how it's gonna work in other states. I can only tell you how it's gonna roll out here in California. So here in California, once you've used up your initial benefits, whether that's unemployment insurance or PUA, at that point you roll into the PEUC program and that's supposed to happen automatically. And so is your enrollment into the Fed ED program. They actually have already started sending out letters to people because a lot of people actually had their benefits expire June 27th. So they are preparing to roll that out right now. I'm not sure if like between June 27th and now if you'll get paid for these days. I'm, I'm a little bit unclear on that, but you don't need to do anything to be enrolled in this program. It's just gonna happen for you automatically and there's, there's no need for you to do anything. Now there are some additional requirements in terms of your earnings that you need to meet However, don't get too caught up on that. I'm not even gonna talk about it. Here's why. If you don't meet the earnings requirements to go on the Fed ED program, then you actually can be put onto the PUA program. Um, if you're already on the PUA program, from what I'm told, it's, it's pretty certain that you will qualify for the Fed ED extension. I hope that makes sense. I will go ahead and pop those requirements um, up on the screen so that you can check that out if you wanna double check it. The other really great thing that I didn't know when I first started talking about this portion of the extended benefits program in, in a couple videos ago is that it's available for 20 weeks. And the other thing that I didn't know is that I didn't realize that someone could go from a regular unemployment claim over to a PUA claim. Because basically, up until this point, everything that people are being told is, if you apply, if you qualify for a regular UI claim, you can't just switch over to a PUA claim. But it does appear, if you have exhausted all your unemployment benefits, and for whatever reason you don't qualify for the Fed ED extension, that they will, at that point, roll you over to the PUA program, even if you are still within your benefit year. Now this part won't apply to all states because I'm going to be reading the news release from the California EDD, and, um, but I do imagine that it'll work similar in the other states, so uh, if you're not in California, go ahead and give it a listen, and I hope that it works out for you guys. Uh, similarly and that it all goes through smoothly with no hiccups. We'll see about that part. Okay, so here is the news release from July 1st. Additional unemployment insurance benefits now available for long-term unemployed. California employers will also receive some unemployment tax relief. Sacramento, up to 20 additional weeks of unemployment insurance, UI benefits, are now available to longer-term unemployed workers in California impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. The Federal State Extended Duration Benefits Program, known as FED-ED in California, only becomes available during times of high or prolonged periods of unemployment. Generally, it provides up to 13 weeks of benefits and is funded 50% from the state's UI trust fund, which includes employer paid taxes on their employees' wages and 50% from federal funds. Under AB 103, which was part of the budget package signed by Governor Gavin Newsom on Monday, the state now meets federal trigger, 
federal trigger standards to maximize support for the unemployed from the federal government. This support includes adding an extra seven weeks of benefits to the FED-ED extension, as well as adding on an additional seven weeks of benefits to the Federal Pandemic Unemployment Assistance, PUA, program. These additional weeks of FED-ED benefits are fully federally funded, saving California's UI Trust Fund an estimated $7 billion in addition to providing some tax relief to employers. Um, and I'm going to stop right there. Um, in the other states as well, this doesn't come out of the state budget. It comes out of the federal budget. So that's where the funding's coming from on this, on whether it's Fed ED or EB. Uh, that is a federally funded program. And back to the memo. The state has been able to maximize benefits for families and business throughout California, said EDD Director Sharon Hilliard. We're expanding the FedED extension to provide up to 20 additional weeks of benefits for workers struggling through this pandemic, increasing the benefits available on the separate federal, federal <laughs> PUA program and alleviating further financial strain on many state employers by receiving 100% federal funding for these benefits. In order to file a FED-ED extension, federal law requires individuals to meet certain eligibility criteria to monetarily qualify. To be eligible, a claimant must have earnings during the base period, four quarter period of earnings, of their regular UI claim that exceed 40 times the weekly benefit amount or 1.5 times their highest quarter of total wages during the base period. Additional eligibility criteria under the federal law require claimants to remain able and available for work and require claimants to potentially accept different work options, including potentially lower wages than they've earned previously. Benefits for unemployed workers. The EDD is implementing the FED-ED programming for the first 13 weeks of the extension on July 1st, in time for some of the first claimants who may be running out of their current Pandemic Emergency Unemployment Compensation, PEUC, extension benefits. This allows the claimants to transition into a FED-ED extension if they still remain unemployed or working reduced hours. Um, I guess this is a good time to break from the memo and remind everyone that here in California, you are still going to need to go on and certify for these benefits every two weeks um, because basically they don't know if you've gone back to work. So you have to tell them, hey, no, I'm still not working. Okay, back to the memo. Programming for the new additional seven weeks to make the total of 20 weeks available will follow shortly after. And when they say programming, they just mean like programming their system. So um, that's what they're talking about there. Along with the programming needed to add the seven weeks to the PUA program to increase the maximum benefits available up to a total of 46 weeks. The EDD is sweeping the system to identify those who have collected all of their PEUC benefits for implementing the FED-ED extension as follows. For individuals who meet the slightly different eligibility requirements of the FED-ED extension, the EDD will automatically file a FED-ED extension and mail a notice of eligibility to the claimant. Claimants will then need to complete the usual bi-weekly certification to determine eligibility for payment. For those individuals who do not qualify for a FED-ED extension, the EDD will proactively reopen their PUA claim if they already had one established. For those who have not previously established a PUA claim, the department will proactively file a PUA claim in order to help maintain the availability of benefits. While the maximum PUA benefits will now be up to 46 weeks, PUA claimants should be aware that if they received any regular UI benefits, 
those weeks of benefits will be counted against the 46 weeks as required by federal law. In both situations where a PUA claim is reopened or filed, the department will send the claimant a notice entitled Immediate Action Required Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Self-Certification, which will require claimants to attest that they meet PUA eligibility requirements before being paid PUA benefits. The notice will have to be completed and sent back to the EDD. Those who qualify for Fed ED will receive the extra $600 stimulus payment through July 25, 2020, based on the end date under the Federal CARES Act. Individuals may now potentially receive up to a total of 59 weeks when combining their regular UI, up to 26 weeks, and PEUC, up to 13 weeks, claim amounts with the Fed ED extension up to 20 weeks. That all depends on when someone exhausts their claim and how much time remains to collect PEUC or Fed ED benefits before those programs expire. The news release goes on to explain the benefits for the employers, and I'm not going to share that with you guys because I think most of us are the unemployed and not the employers. Uh, if anybody needs that though, that's in the same description linked down below. I'll be linking my Weeble link and my Robinhood link in the description down below. With Weeble, you get two free stocks after an initial deposit of $100, and one of those stocks could be valued up to $1,400. With Robinhood, all you have to do is link your bank account, and you could get one free stock valued up to $500. Thank you everyone for watching Shelly's Millions. I upload videos on Mondays and Thursdays, and sometimes more frequently if there's more information that you guys need to get right away. Thanks for watching.